taxonomy section two from your lab and also how to fill that in um, in your lab exercise because this is a little bit different. Um, they're actually they made some changes to the online lab um, and they did not update the exercise so it, it can be a little bit confusing. So I want to walk through that with you to make sure you understand what you're doing. So section two uh, is over classification of footwear and the point of this is to help you understand why we need to um, make categories for organisms and also kind of how we do that um, because it, it helps us know what categories of different organisms would fall under um, and so if you're trying to identify an unknown organism you can use these categories to figure out kind of what type of species it is. So we're going to do this with footwear. So we're looking at all of these different footwear and we're going to look at similarities and differences between them and then we're going to fill that in on a tree, basically a branching tree chart uh, in your exercise, your lab handout. Um, we're going to go through all the different steps and types of footwear. All right, so the first big category is going to be bodywear. Um, all of these things would fall under bodywear and then the subdivision of that would be clothing versus footwear. So looking at your report, um, on this first, first part, the first part would be body wear. And then we're going to divide that into um, footwear and clothing. Now what we care about is the footwear. And so you're going to put the footwear over here um, because we can continue down with the subdivisions with the footwear. So footwear is going to need to go on the left and then clothing, which we don't really uh, care about because we're not going to look at that category today, that's going to go on the right. Okay. So footwear can continue with the further branchings of this tree versus clothing, which is kind of off by itself. All right, so we're going to click on footwear to continue. We're going to further subdivide the footwear into boots and shoes. Now notice that there's only one boot, but there's a ton of different shoes. So we still have a lot more categories we're going to have to deal with um, to further divide these shoes where we can tell them all apart. But there's just one boot. So on your handout, you would put the boot over here because we don't have anything else that we need to further subdivide with boots. And then you'd put the shoes on this side. All right, so now we're gonna click on shoes to continue. Now under shoes, we've got high heel and low heel. Notice there's just one high heel left, but there's still a lot of low heel shoes. So on your handout, you can put the high heel shoes on the right hand side because that's kind of the end of that um, branching tree. But then the low heel, we still have a lot of categories left to go through. So let's click on low heel. We can divide low heel into low heel with a high top or low heel with a low top. The high top is by itself. There's still a lot left of the low top. So the high top would be all by itself over here because that's kind of the end of that branching of the tree. But the low top still has more categories to further divide down. The low top could be further subdivided into laced versus non-laced. There's only one laced shoe, but there's a lot of non-laced shoes. So the laced shoe would go on this side because that's the end of that category. And then the non-laced would go on this side because we still have some more categories to go through. All right, non-laced. The non-lace could be either loafer or non-loafer. There's only one loafer, but there are still several non-loafers. So the loafer would go on this side, and the non-loafer would go on this side. Okay, and then we're gonna click on non-loafer to continue. And then finally, our last division is synthetic versus leather. And so we've got one synthetic and one leather. So let's do synthetic here, leather here, and then this one we're going to leave blank. So this is the one that was kind of left over from the previous um, online lab. So you can either delete that if you want to get rid of it, um, or you can leave it there and leave it blank. But this is how you would fill in this chart for the classification of footwear 
is you would do body wear and then divide that into footwear and clothing. Footwear would divide into boot versus shoe. Shoe would divide into low heel versus high heel. Low heel would divide into low top versus high top. Low top would divide into non-laced versus laced. Non-laced would divide into non-loafer versus loafer. And then non-loafer would divide into synthetic versus leather. The next part is comparing your footwear chart to uh, our normal kind of taxonomy levels. So domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So domain is the biggest. So domain would be body wear. The next level down would be kingdom, which would be footwear versus clothing. So that would be uh, the category would kind of be where or what part of your body you wear it on. So that would be clothing versus foot. I guess body versus foot. And then the next level down would be phylum. That would be boot versus shoe. So the boot would be So that would kind of have to do with um, how tall the footwear is. And then under shoe, the low heel versus high heel. So the height of the heel would be class. Okay. And then order would be low top versus high top. So the height of the top. Would be the order and then the next one down would be family which would be laced versus non-laced so presence of laces and then genus would be loafer versus not loafer and then species would be the last one which would be synthetic versus leather so um, material that it's made of, so synthetic versus leather. Alright, so that's how you do the first part um, of the lab handout.